and it takes a ladder, but I'm going to do it. All right, here we go. Yuck. All right, that's enough for you guys. Way more for me. All right, it wasn't fun, but it's done. All right, YouTubers, getting it all washed and waxed up. Very important. Um, I also want to show uh, way back when I went to Michigan, I did that bonehead thing and put a scratch on it. But I will say that buffing it out has really gotten almost all of it. This is the worst section still left, but the rest of the scratches are pretty much gone. So when you have a small Class B, sometimes you have to store things where you can. That is my new uh, small solar panel kit. And I'm just going to store it on the bed while I'm driving. A little trick I'm going to try is in this cabinet I have a lot of things stored. So I wrote down on these cards what's in there because, you know, I can't ever remember anything. And I did the same back here on this cabinet that has a lot of stuff in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, mounting putty once I get to where I'm going. I'm not going to drive with it on there, but it might help me. might be something that could help some of you guys remember what's where and why. So as I'm packing up for a longer trip, I'm realizing that a Class B, you can get a lot more in there than you think. But also, I carry too much junk. That's the new uh, satellite receiver for DirecTV. I think I'm going to put it there. I had a couple different options. Um, I'll have my 12-volt cooler there. And this is my other cooler that I'm going to take just because I got it set up for the uh, Hillbilly AC and I got stuff stored in it anyways. It fits there. I can see it's not a problem. Um, like I showed before, not too much stuff under there. But having that there will just be tricky when you're driving. My plan is when I get to my destination and actually set this up, I'll put the box in a big plastic bag and put it under the back end of the RV. All right, YouTubers, I'm going to take this along. It's a four-tier shelf, and my plan is I'll be able to take some of the junk from inside the RV that can be outside, outside and give me a little bit more space. It breaks down really easy and doesn't take a lot of space. I've never taken it before because I haven't really ever felt the need, but I figured it was worth a shot. Maybe something like that could work for you. You never know. And you can see in here I still have a lot of space. That's my table. And some people might not take this, but it's uh, but it's my little shop vac. And after a while with two cats, you need to clean. But again, you can see I'm mostly packed. And I still have a lot of space under here to store stuff. And this is pretty much full, but again... This 99 Leisure Travel has a huge compartment in there. My grill's in there, screened room, all kinds of good stuff. I think two people can get a lot more stuff in a Class B than you realize. And really all I have left to put in here is probably two bags will go under here, and I should be good to go. Now the tough part when driving this is where that little buzzboard scooter, gas-powered scooter, will sit. So I'll put it in a big old bag so it doesn't leak anything, even though it's empty. I made sure all the gas is out of it. And I'll prop it in there so it doesn't roll around on me. But, again, on a lot of trips, I don't take the scooter. There's a lot of things I'm taking on this trip that I don't take on shorter trips. But on a long trip where I'm planning on being in one spot, there's extra things you take, I think. A couple uh, chairs, uh, mats, stuff like that. Lots of room. I take two chairs. Anybody else who wants to hang out after that has got to bring their own chair or sit on a cooler. But, but all in all, YouTubers, you really can get a lot more stuff in a Class B than you think. And with this being on the bed, again, it's a queen. I can sleep with it there if I need to, or I can just move it. I can put it up on the driver's seat, but you do what you got to do. 
but unfortunately a couple issues came up that's going to keep me here a few more days not too many but i just couldn't leave yet so got some stuff to get done but have a great and wonderful day